Right at the top, we've got some breaking news just coming in. The United States has tabled a slightly watered-down final version of the resolution on Sri Lanka. The resolution was tabled by U.S. Ambassador Eileen Chamberlain at the 22nd session of the U.N. Human Rights Council meeting in Geneva. In a toned-down document as compared to the previous drafts, the resolution called for an internal probe as against an international one. The resolution says it's the responsibility of each state to ensure full enjoyment of all human rights and fundamental freedoms of its entire population. So that's the latest coming in. U.S. presenting its final draft, its resolution there, focusing on internal probe. Premada now joins us for more of this. Premada, the version that's been tabled by U.S. It appears it's a watered-down version. It's talking about an internal probe as opposed uh, to the one by international community on human rights violations in Sri Lanka. That is something uh, that is not going to be acceptable to Tamil parties, who of course have been asking for words like genocide and international probe to be made part of this resolution. At this point, I would say Tamil parties had demanded for genocide and uh, international probe. Leave alone that the previous draft, the third draft, which uh, headlines today had access, was a bit more stronger than this watered-down version because it was talking about Navi Pillai report, which had, which had clearly criticized the Sri Lankan government. So the third draft resolution, which we had accessed, very clearly said that Sri Lanka should consider the recommendations given in Navi Pillai report. And one of the recommendations in Navi Pillai report was, report was international. Probe, but that has been completely removed in this final draft, um, and this is this is what my sources are telling is going to be the final version of the resolution, which could be tabled by tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So definitely, a lot of lobbying probably has happened, is what the Tamil groups feel. Uh, protests then will obviously intensify here in Tamil Nadu. It's a total disappointment for everyone here in Ta Tamil Nadu. Leave alone the amendments. Forget these stronger words that Arunanudhi and others wanted in the resolution this one is completely watered down which does not been anything on Sri Lanka. At least in the previous year, there were a few strong words, there were a few words urging in Sri Lanka to follow the recommendations of LLRC. But yes. this year, even that's not that. It just talks about Sri Lanka doing internal probe. All right. Internal All right. Tamada, just stay on with us. Let me quickly get more details on what exactly is this version of the bill and what, what is really mentioned there in the final draft. Uh, as we're being told, Amma, uh, just take us through the details of uh, the U.S. resolution uh, as we are now reporting, it talks about an internal probe. We know the government of India has asked its representative to the UN to be here in Delhi for consultation process uh, on the final draft of this resolution. The resolution puts the onus on Sri Lanka to internally probe the allegations of uh, war crimes especially during the fag end of the civil war in Sri Lanka. It does not press Sri Lanka for an international probe. That is something that Sri Lanka had been against. They had been consistently saying that if at the level of UN, uh, Sri Lanka is going to be pressured into an international probe, then they would also appeal to the world that there are many such cases all around the world. So why aren't they probed by international committees? And that the whole... Uh, process of reconciliation will start by first probing these war crimes and that they are at it. However, of course, uh, there is an opinion that what they are doing is not enough and that uh, the lessons learned and reconciliation commission that they have set up, uh, whatever it says, it's not transparent, that they are not willing to give uh, uh, more autonomy and uh, they are not willing to push for the 13th amendment in their country, which would mean uh, something better for the Tamils over there. All right. However, However, India's stand was that if earlier on, Ruchika, let me point out, India was hoping that this version of the U.S. resolution is not very scaring and therefore they will go with U.S. But remember now, Tamil parties have upped the ante. They right. want India to move an amendment asking for an international probe for which... Uh, the India's permanent representative at UN will be meeting the foreign secretary today. Mahasiddiqui, Priyamada, thank you both for joining us.